our uh, let's resume our discussion what we were discussing about in the last class was um uh, uh, inheritance oops concepts encapsulation class inheritance and types of classes see why do we need to use inheritance in our development why should we implement inheritance during our development processes to achieve reusability to avoid creating same component at multiple places instead you create at one common place that's the idea behind implementing inheritance and it will save your time it will save your time okay and we need to create the classes where you are creating initiating transaction as concrete classes where you are not initiating transaction but you are maintaining some reusable components as abstract classes okay and now i am going to tell you about ovotb classes what do you mean by ovotb i already told you about this on day one ovotb term what is the meaning of ovotb term Outdated. 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 So, OOTB classes means predefined. See, let's go back to day one. I was telling you about the definition of application. What was the definition of application I have given you at that time? It was okay. application. Application contains functional components. That's what I told you. But the definition we need to correct a little bit. Okay, that is what. application contains classes what does application contains classes then followed by classes contains functional components functional components which means functional components that you are creating you place inside a class that class will be inside an application ultimately functional components will be there in application only but at the very beginning, we do not know what is a class. That's why I did not use that uh, class concept. I told you directly, application contains classes, application contains functional components. But actually, application inside you have classes, classes inside you have functional components. Ultimately, your functional components belongs to one functional components. A functional component belongs to a functional component belongs to always it belongs to an application and class an application and class if you take any functional component that must be related to some class and some application you have created a functional component inside class a of application a you have created a functional component which is inside class b of application b that's how you will create we will be doing it practically now any functional component that is available we call that as a rule in pega we call it as a rule functional component is a generic terminology and pega terminology is rule when i say rule applic everything in pega is a rule which means you created application application is a rule you created operator id operator id is also said to be a rule suppose if you have created a class class is also a rule everything you create in pega is generally said to be a rule okay now now rules will be available functional component means what rules we create in inside a class and application there is one more thing available rule set that i'll tell you later now coming to this one pega has so many ootb functional components yes or no that means Pega has some predefined rules in predefined application called as Pega platform. What is the predefined application of Pega? Pega platform inside which all the predefined functional components are available. That means exactly inside which is available means inside that definitely classes should be there. Inside which classes should be there. So all the predefined rules in Pega are been available in some predefined classes and inside pega platform application all predefined rules in pega are available in are available inside ootb classes predefined classes and pega platform application and pega platform application understand this clear everyone 
so all the over tb classes all why, why we need classes inside pega platform is to have over tb rules the over tb rules that are being created by pega systems are being created inside some over tb classes those over tb classes are part of pega platform application which i have shown you on day one now what are the classes available hundreds thousands of classes are there okay but uh, out of which some important classes names we need to know what is there inside those classes you will be learning later but names you will be learning all these OOTB rules are belongs to abstract classes not all OOTB classes abstract classes in OOTB classes also some abstract classes are there some concrete classes are there okay I'll show you now so the topmost OOTB classes are top level top level I'm giving you top level OOTB classes are first one at the rate base class what is the first class name at the rate base class this is topmost class in pega for entire pega environment for entire pega environment what is the meaning of this can anyone of you tell me what is meant by it is topmost class for entire pega environment what does it mean what does it mean topmost class in environment means it means it all, is, uh, the classes, all the user defined or the system defined classes whatever classes we are having or it is introduced in pega that would be a subclass of that class only indirectly or directly perfect perfect means it is parent class of it is parent class of every class in pega environment every class in pega every class means every other odb class every class that you create any any class you create definitely ultimately this is going to be parent class at topmost level simple so we have our family something big so human beings in human era someone should have begun at the very beginning right that is a topmost level that's a topmost class for every one of us common parent was there that's the point okay now here you go this is what about it what are the other classes listen i'm going to give work dash what is the other class name? See, in the previous versions of Pega, Pega 6 version, 5 version, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 23. These are the versions. 7 before, 7 before means 6, 4, 5, 4. That time, a class name itself is going to have hyphen. Hyphen, they call it a dash. If a class name itself has dash, that is an abstract class. So later they removed dash for base class, but they did not remove dash for other classes. I don't know the reason why, but class name is having the OOTB class name has a dash in the name. That means that is abstract class. OOTB class name doesn't have a dash that is concrete. Exception case is base class. Base class is abstract class only. It doesn't have dash. Okay. Reasons I don't know. Work dash, data dash, INT dash. What else? Uh, index dash, embed dash, code dash, rule dash, assign dash, etc. So, there are 14 topmost classes available overall. Okay, out of which these are something I remember. You don't have to buy hard to remember these things. When you are practicing automatically, you will come to know. Remember this class name, that is the next immediate one we are going to learn. If you want to see any class in Pega, if you want to access any class in Pega, this is a search bar for class. Search, this is a search icon. So go here, type work dash, type work dash. You get the work dash class. You want to know the details of a class, any rule, if you want to know details, right click on the rule or click on the rule, go to definition, go to, if you want to know class details, details of a class, right click on the class name and then definition, you will see this is a class of type, give me one minute, abstract, it is already there. And for which parent class is base class, for which parent class is, I will tell you all these points going forward one by one, whenever we come across these things. Just for your information, I'm showing. You want to access another class, data dash, data dash, data dash, you can access. You want to see the definition of data dash, data dash, right click on this definition parent class base class class type abstract understand clear everyone 
okay everyone clear okay this is what about something related to knowing the information you, you don't have to do all this thing. just know it you will be doing it automatically while we are doing some practicals now you don't buy hard anything here okay now these over db classes contain some over db functionalities what are those no problem you will be learning soon now coming to the next topic of inheritance once again inheritance in pega see before we discuss about inheritance in pega we need to have some um what do you call it? it's a kind of realization about uh, the reason behind creating applications and all this see i will tell you few points you just try to understand it clearly see uh, i'll take a document uh, diagram i'll take diagram because it's not that you are going to get confused with this information be clear on every part divide your entire topic into small small segments try to understand each one look at here this is pega platform correct this is pega platform when we open a class it will automatically display abstract class whatever that definition see if i ask you define yourself you say your name okay your age your class that you are studying your job that you are doing right same way right click on the class and go to definition it will tell its details whatever is there while creating you will select after creation it will show okay so see now these are two applications these are two applications listen to me carefully so one is pega platform this is pega platform i will ask you some questions okay i'll ask you some questions about what you have learned or realized when you are when you have done previous practical of creating applications on top of it you have another application let's say application name is abc this may be framework application okay this may be framework application you see this may be framework application okay clear there are functional components available inside an application okay this is okay classes available let's say this is class a this is class a uh, okay that's pretty much fair enough to have one class class a okay this is class a a okay now this is one functional component available inside that functional component available f1 and another component f2 two components are there uh, for framework creation we will use pega app studio right no i did not use app studio so far correct did we use app studio no. we did not use app studio will use later when we are working with 24.2 that time i will create applications using app studio only so that you will learn both ways okay f2 i'm sorry what is this f fn2 fc2 functional component 2 functional component 1 functional component 2 and functional component okay that's it okay no problem i'm not able to erase it let me try to erase this other okay. fc1 and fc2 listen to me carefully okay it's not so easy to understand you'll get confused okay see you need to understand the concept and here there is a class in the above one there is a class class b what is that class b here class b so for application abc pega platform is built on application means application abc built on top of pega platform now the question to you is what is the reason we have created our application on top of pega platform why did we create our framework application on top of pega platform what was the reason behind that tell me i'm expecting an answer so from you because this class is a platform right yes to, uh, to use the otb uh, uh, using the uh, inbuilt inheritance concept. remember this point perfect perfect to in order to utilize the otb components that are provided available in pega platform into my applications i want to access what is the advantage of doing this you don't have to recreate again email integration component is there access it directly you don't create again in your application so i want to access the functional component from here too so functional components will not be there in the application directly will be there inside classes inside a classes so so that i can access f2 here okay into my class now if you want to access a functional component 
from one application class into another application class. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Now I'll tell you in another way. You have two classes, class A, class B. Both classes belongs to same application, no matter. Both classes are there in same application. In, within one application, I have two classes, class A, class B. Class A has one functional component which I want to access into class B. Can I directly access? Is it possible? Or should I define an inheritance relation between class A and B? Inheritance. So we need to define inheritance, inheritance relation inheritance. between parent and child relation is there. Then only accessing component from one class to another class is possible, even though the classes belongs to same application same application this point everyone clear next now i have created my framework application on top of pega platform where i wanted to access one functional component from pega platform application class into my application class is it going to be possible without possible. defining inheritance relationship between my application class with the pega platform application class to access a functional component. Is it going yes. to be possible? Yes. Possible. Yes. It is possible. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible yes. because we can access what? the parent. Hmm. Parent class. Because it is an after it base class, we created all the applications. Okay. So you might be thinking like it. you might be thinking like framework application is built on top of Pega platform so that it can access anything. No. The point you need to understand. The point you need to understand is if you want to access a functional component from one class to another class, there must be inheritance relation between the classes. Otherwise, it cannot access. No matter classes are there in the same application. No matter classes are there in another application. So as I created my application on top of another application, I will get a scope of visibility means i'll get a right i'll get a right to take something from other application but i cannot take unless inheritance is defined that's the importance of inheritance are you clear with this example i'll tell you you and your brother both your sibling whoever it is both are from same family you do not have any right you cannot take the property of your brother because he is not your parent he is not your unless he is going to because we are a humans we have emotions that's a different technology doesn't have any emotions right think about technical point of view legally you don't have any right to take unless he is a parent you both belongs to same family no matter inheritance relation is must between two people in order to get accessibility same way two classes in order to get accessibility from one class to another class, inheritance is must be when they are when they are in this, even though they are in the same class. If I say the, the classes are of same application, still inheritance is must. Classes of different application also inheritance is must no. Yes or no? Classes are different. So you are there in a family, you have your relatives' family. You both are connected actually. You because you are relatives, families are connected doesn't mean you can access your relatives property unless a proper legal right of parent child relationship you cannot access no generally understand clear everyone so that's how when you create okay when you create framework application on top of another application one application on top of another application you are connecting those connecting two applications will give a right to access other application class rules into this application sorry right to define inheritance relation sorry connecting the application will give a right to, to define inheritance relation between other application classes suppose there is third application application three this is this has class c class c can i access class c properties into features into abc application no if i define inheritance no. between these two i can access suppose but i cannot even define inheritance because these applications are not connected. If you want to define inheritance relation between two classes of different applications, those two must be connected first of all. Understand clear everyone? Yep. Online students clear? 
so are you clear every one of you so yes. as i have created my framework application on top of pega platform it doesn't mean i can access the properties or features from pega platform directly i got a right to, to define inheritance only after i after i define inheritance i can access if you have an application which is not at all related no connection between applications you you cannot even draw inheritance relation you cannot even draw inheritance relation in order to access the components of another application into my application classes first thing is connect the application second thing is define inheritance relation between classes of the two applications which are connected make sense clear every one of you are you clear yep. yeah in order to define inheritance relation itself your applications two applications should be connected there are two classes in two different applications i want to define inheritance relation unless these two are connected with the built on application relation cannot define inheritance okay so inheritance is a fundamental thing between classes to access the features of one class to another class irrespective of whether classes are there in same application or different application same application means you directly draw the inheritance relation no problem different application means connect the applications first that's what we have already done and now implementation application is connected to framework so implementation application wants to access the features of framework means you have to define inheritance relation between the classes of implementation with framework that that definition you can give only when the applications are connected make sense clear everyone this point you need to clearly remember we will be discussing that in the types of inheritance okay the reason behind creating my framework application connecting to pega platform is i will get a right to establish inheritance relation with pega platform classes into my application classes so that i can access pega platform predefined features into my application in the same way the reason behind creating implementation application on top of framework application is I wanted to access, I want to define inheritance relation between framework application classes into implementation application classes so that I can access framework application class functionalities into implementation application classes. Okay. We will be doing that practically. When we are doing a practice, you will come to know examples. During theory, I cannot show you. Okay. So just you need to wait on that part, but you need to understand the concept. Understanding concept is important. Now, Pega so now we have two needs two necessity two needs are there for us in pega that is first one is accessing the rules from same application classes that is one need second need is accessing the rules from the rules from where built on application built on application classes these two we need to fulfill so now we have created one application in our application and number of classes are there obviously we want to access the features from one class to another class within application that is one need one need another need is yes. we want to access the functionalities from built on application classes into our application yes amit what is the question You have raised so, your yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Actually, uh, you said right that when we create an implementation application on top of the framework applications, we are getting the right to have an establishment of the relationship. So, does it mean that whenever uh, it's it's not internally inherited, the classes which are there in the framework no, no. is not there? No, no. Application, application. When you touch, you will get only right to define inheritance. It will not be inheriting. Okay. Remember simply, inheritance is always between classes. Always between classes only. Practically, application to application touching will give right to define inheritance between the class of two applications. That's the only point. Clear? So, so does it mean that the any classes defined inside the framework applications are not accessible to the implementation layer by default? No. That's no. what okay. class to class you are accessing. Everything accessing will be in classes only. That's what encapsulated structure. So, one class wants to access means from another class only. Between inheritance is must. Okay. Defining inheritance is possible when applications are connected. Make sense? Harsham? 
अमित आर यू क्लियर Yes. Thank you for confirmation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, within the same application, uh, there is no requirement for defining inheritance, right? I'm saying within the same application. Doing right. What is the concept of inheritance? Tell me. What is the inheritance concept? A reusable uh, functional components from. I'm not asking plan. advantages. I'm asking what is the concept of inheritance? Why we need inheritance? Why we need inheritance? I'm not asking advantages. Why do we need to go with inheritance? We can access the functional components. From where to where? From parent to a child. What is that parent? Is it a class? No. Parent is not a class. Like class. It's a class. From one class to another class, if you want to access, you need inheritance. Both classes belongs to same application. Still, you need inheritance. So, wherever the classes are, you need to define inheritance relation between the classes in order to access the components. Understand clear? I yeah. told you with example also, right? It is very simple. You don't look at technology as technology you can never learn. Take the technology into your real life, then only you can learn. I told you already, you cannot take money from your brother or someone because they are not in the inheritance relation. They are siblings. You can take money from your father. How come? Because he is there in the inheritance relation. You, bo you both belong to the same family or not? Though you both belong, two people, though both belong to the same family, you will be able to take access some property only when there is inheritance relation. Inheritance is not there. You cannot access. Understand clear? Now, always look at the technology implemented or just analyzed with your real life. Then only you can understand. Otherwise, it will be difficult to learn. Okay. So now our need is our need is we wanted to access the functional components of same application classes, functional components of built-on application classes. Part one we will discuss. So let's log into implementation application. What is our implementation of Geico, right? Our implementation application is Geico. See, when we have created a new application, just listen to me and follow me. I'll, I'll give a practical document from here for some of the points. Okay. When we log into implementation application, what we can see already created. Okay. When we create, when we, when we have created our implementation application, the below classes got created automatically automatically okay pega has created so you want to create functional components for that you need to create classes without you creating pega has automatically created some classes can we call those classes as otb classes yes no those are not otb those are user defined only wizard created okay. otb means comes with, when you install the system pega, what is there already that is otb anything you perform creation is user defined only so what class is created? I will show you the screenshot. Log into implementation application. Go to App Explorer. Log into IMPL app and go to App Explorer. What do you mean by App Explorer? You see here. After you log in, left hand side you see App Explorer. Dev Studio. Dev Studio, App Explorer. Classes will be loaded. Don't bother about branches. Classes. So by default, this will always be loaded. This will always be loaded. So I am going to talk only about these three. Apart from these three, so many created. Wait. See here now. Let me close this. What is this one? I am Bill App Explorer. Let me close 619 batch document. Leave it. And here, let me save this document in our practical part. Though this is not a practical, I am saving it. 622, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this person, App Studio, please forget about App Studio. I am begging you. Don't ask me about App Studio again and again. Leave about App Studio, please. I know when to teach what I'm a trainer. Forget about App Studio, I'm begging you. Don't ask me App Studio again till I tell you back. That's really going to hurt me. How many times you ask App Studio, App Studio, App Studio? I know when to teach App Studio. You need to have some patience when you want to become a student. First thing is discipline and patience then only you can gain good knowledge. 
I am not not much bothered whether you, whether you got offended by my words or not. Okay, follow me always. Always you follow me. Hold my hand and follow me if you want to learn best. Okay, don't disturb me in between asking same thing again and again. I know when to teach and what to teach. I know if I take one topic, I know till what extent I have to teach the topic. Stop there, and when I have to teach the remaining things in the future, I know clearly. I'll I'll teach you everything. Don't worry. Okay. So when we log into implementation, when we when we, don't ask me any questions, no more questions till I finish inheritance concept. No more questions. No more questions. No more hand hand raise related to anything else till I finish the session. No more questions. I'll get back to you about the current topic you ask me. If you're unable to switch to Dev Studio, App Studio, something something, don't ask me now. I'll help you later. Okay. Follow me closely. Okay. This is very very important. Follow me closely. So when we log into implementation application, when we log into implementation application, okay, we can see we can see three classes loaded, three classes loaded together. What do you mean by together? You are three people, three people standing separately. That's not together. Three people are holding hands and standing in a line. That's called together. Together. you are connected to each other understand so three classes loaded together in the class tree that is called tree okay hierarchy okay this is the hierarchy what are the three class names i am going to give you look at this fully focus on what i am teaching don't think something else focus on what i am teaching please don't think something else so these are the three classes i am i am writing the names separately when you three are standing holding together if i separate three of you you three have your own name right that's what i am writing now first class name is gaiko what is the first class name gaiko in the list of three classes first class is gaiko second class is gaiko auto and third class name is work is this work same as ootv class work dash no that work dash is ootv class this work is user defined class created when we create new application understand make sense everyone gaiko name is matching with something just try to recollect in your brain and tell me what is this class name is matching with something else what is that a framework organization name organization name that's why this is called as organization class because the name is matching with organization name perfect this name is also matching i'll show you you don't need to recollect i'll go to definition of implementation application what is the id id means actual name unique name id means unique name just go ahead here id is leave about the numbers id is gaiko auto implementation application name is gaiko auto with same name one one class is created what do you call this class name application class and if you compare with organization structure this is going to be division class why i call it application class because its name is matching with application name and the third one is by name the class name by name pega has automatically taken i have a chance to modify this while creating application i did not modify by name work what is the name of the class work what yeah. do you mean by work work means is it a transaction can i say work is a transaction yes sir yes. no so pega has an intention to give the name work the reason is this is the class where you can initiate the transaction this is the class where in the organization structure this is going to be unit class this is called as transaction class this is unit level what is that unit class this is the class okay this is where we can we can initiate transaction comma process and close finally you understand now you need to compare with organization structure abstract concrete classes you are aware of right recollect mm -hmm. those points with organization structure also i told you which level is abstract which level is concrete you guess this is a guess guess what concrete. type of class echo is going to be what type of class gaiko is abstract going class. abstract yes. abstract whether you are right or wrong no matter such class abstract what about division class division also abstract, abstract. 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 you have manually created this definitely you will create as abstract 
class only, right? Now this class is going to be Okay. See, there is some background noise coming from one person. I don't know who is that. Some noise coming continuously. That person don't unmute. Uh, please don't mind because that is disturbing others. And this is called as I will tell you what is the meaning of this letter class group. I will tell you later, but I am giving you a hint that one point that class group. Work class is also called as class group. Just keep that point in mind. No need to analyze to understand. Now these are this this is what your guess abstract abstract concrete i want to see the definition let's look at the definition of each of these classes each of these classes to know its id to know its type both if you want to see always three classes will be loaded here if you want to access geico class look at here carefully backspace place your cursor here backspace up to geico Select Geico. Geico is loaded. Yes or no? Right click on Geico and definition. First one is Geico class. G I C O. I am sorry. G I C O. Geico class. Right click. Right click using your mouse and then definition. See if you want to see the de details of anything in Pega, go to its definition. Define yourself means your details. Same way, definition of a rule is its details it is going to show what is there so it is automatically created by wizard wizard has created this class as abstract which is perfect as per our past discussion which is correct yes or no correct or not okay done similarly geico auto what is the next class geico auto just make an observation here i'll keep it open here geico auto is here no right click on geico auto and then choose definition for Geico Auto also, Pega has chosen the class type as abstract. Whatever I have written at the top, that is satisfying. See, before we proceed to create anything, we are trying to understand the system provided to us. Before you try to use laptop, you need to learn what is present in the laptop SR, how to use what is what you need to learn. What is what we are trying to learn before we proceed to use those things to create further our functional components. Understand, make sense? Now work class. What is the next one? Work class. Expand this Geico Auto. Expand Geico Auto. Inside you find work class. Right click on work and then choose definition. Choose definition. Now you see here, this is being created as a concrete class and there is one additional option of is a class group. Is a class group. Don't bother about it. Just remember work class is also called a class group. That's it. Okay. Three classes definition I have shown you. If we would have manually created these things, we would have created as abstract, abstract, concrete. So Pega has automatically created. Same way. Okay. Now coming to the point of inheritance. Now my work class, which is a unit class, should it have the ability to access the components from division and organization? Should we define such a relation of inheritance? Yes or no? So our need yes, is, our work class should be able to access the features from Geico Auto. Geico Auto should be able to access from Geico. Ultimately, work should be able to access Geico also. That means you need to define inheritance relation between the classes. Look at the class names. Let's have a look at the ID of each class. ID of each class. Look at the ID of each class. Organization class ID is Geico only. So in front of this class name, nothing else. Geico, standalone Geico. Come to Geico Auto definition. ID is not Geico Auto alone. Geico Auto in front of it, Geico is there. That means I will tell you when Ge how Geico Auto is created. You know, I am just showing you manually. Wizard has created the same way. When creating Geico Auto, while creating Geico Auto, they did not create like Geico Auto. Geico Auto. They did not create like this. They have created it connecting to the previous one. You three people are standing separately. Now you are touching one another's hand, holding one another's hand. Means Geico Auto is created connected to previous class. You, you made the connection established between two classes by using a symbol called hyphen. That's what Wizard has done. If I manually do also same thing I'll do. This hyphen you call it as dash. When I ask you what is the name of the second class, you should never say like Geico Auto. 
you should say like Geico Geico Auto. That's the ID. That's the ID. When Geico Auto is created, it is not created standalone. It is created connected to the previous class. What is the reason? This connection of hash represents the inheritance relation. Represents the yes. inheritance relation. Geico ID is Geico. So Geico Auto. Geico Auto ID is. Its ID is. What is its ID? I'm sorry. Its ID is Geico dash Geico Auto. The okay, I'll do one thing. The dash I am going to change it to red color. Make sense? Yep. So the dash represents inheritance relation between two classes. In fact, that's already established. Okay. Now third class. What is the third class? Work class. When you look at the work class, ID is. You can guess and tell me. It's just work. Gaiko Why Pega has created because it is establishing inheritance relation between work and previous classes. This chain can be extended. See, this is a pattern of class class name has a pattern. In this, in this inheritance, the class names are in a pattern. You know what is the meaning of pattern? Sometimes you look at the sky and you look at the stars and you find some patterns. Patterns means they are properly arranged. Maybe sometimes you'll find like a line, straight line. Three are coming in straight line. Every many times you have seen that, right? So pattern in this inheritance, in this inheritance, in this inheritance, the classes are in a pattern. That's why pattern, pattern, that's why this inheritance is called as pattern inheritance is called as pattern inheritance pattern inheritance is being defined by using hyphen pattern inheritance is being defined by using by using a symbol what is that hyphen by using a symbol hyphen oh i'm sorry what is that hyphen up to this are you clear now your unit class able to access the features of ordination division by using what's what inheritance pattern inheritance unit class which is work class which is work class can access the higher level classes higher level classes can access can access the features rules rules from can access the rules from higher level classes from higher level classes using pattern inheritance using pattern inheritance i'll tell you a simple example pattern inheritance is done one more inheritance is pending 15 minutes is there i can finish if you want to understand pattern inheritance take an example of your family only your family you are connected to your parents by blood relation you both are connected by blood relation this blood relation is pattern inheritance within the family only you can have blood relation established not outside the family correct right within family some people are connected by blood relation within family blood relation to the top level is pattern inheritance understand make sense clear everyone you can access the property from whoever is connected to you by blood relation at a top level again top level means not your brother though blood relation top level should be there parent child okay Within family, you imagine your family, you, your parent, 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 parent. The property is coming since long back. So you because you all are connected by blood relation. That's what pattern inheritance means. Any doubts within this only? Don't ask me. My I'm not getting app studio now. Within this, do you have any doubt? Yes, are you clear with pattern inheritance? Yes, yes, uh, yes, sir, sir. But just one question I have. <laughs> yes, go ahead. So, uh, so when we create, when we define this implementation or the framework, so the in the background, the Pega itself is doing all this, right? We don't need to do manually. We only do manually when we create our own classes, right? Yes. As of now, everything is Pega done. We are trying to understand that. Okay. okay. When we do manually later, it allows bottom class to access higher class, higher class rules, higher class rules of current application of 
Current application means whatever the application into which you have logged in. That's the meaning of current application. Within family. Now, in India, how it works? Suppose I want to access the property from other family. Some other family property I want to access. Suppose I'm a male. How can I access other property, other uh, family property? One approach is I can get married to a female from another family. That's how I get, I get access to the property. We both are now, two families are now having a relation where we both are especially having a relation that is a not, that is a not, whatever it is, say not. This is what direct relation. Now I have a direct relation with someone in another family, which is a strong direct relation that is allowing me to access the property, of course, right? So that person can access my property. I can access that person's property because we are married between two families. When I say two applications, two persons in two families means two different classes. You are able to access the other application classes into your application by using direct inheritance by using which inheritance that is so family relation is going to define direct inheritance blood relation within blood relation means no doubt within family within family blood relation pattern inheritance between two families this uh, you can take marriage relation as a direct inheritance understand clear direct inheritance is as simple as that make sense to access now direct inheritance now direct inheritance to access the features of the rules of other application means not any other application. First, you both are related. No relation should be there. Family should be connected. No? So to access the rules of built on application classes, what is that built on application classes, direct inheritance helps direct inheritance helps. Direct inheritance cannot come between the classes of same application. No need because same application higher level. Higher level means you can access by pattern. Create like dash dash dash. So other application cannot come into pattern. That is not possible because other application is not visible in the pattern first of all. Other application class if you want to access its features. You mention that class name in the direct inheritance. You mention that class name in the Direct inheritance makes sense. Direct inheritance is very easy. Direct inheritance is useful to access the built on application classes. In interview, they will ask you one question. That is in Pega, we have two different types of inheritance. Why Pega has two inheritances? Why not only one? They will ask you one is enough. Why not only one is enough? You can say we are creating our business application on top of Pega platform application. We will get a need of accessing the features from higher classes to lower classes in our business application. For that pattern inheritance will help. We also have a necessity of accessing Pega platform application features into our application classes. In this in this uh, type, uh, okay, here to achieve this, direct inheritance is going to help you. Direct inheritance is so to access Pega platform features, which is built on application into my application, we need direct inheritance mainly to access Pega platform application classes rules into our application classes into our application classes we need to define classes we need to define direct inheritance inheritance relation between direct inheritance relation between our application classes with the Pega platform application classes. Okay, makes sense clear everyone? Everyone clear? So that's what we need to do. But where do we do that? Okay, you just need to wait and have patience to learn these things. Just wait. Okay. So examples, I'll show you when to access. If I want to show you this practically, I should have to create some rules and access it. No, I'll tell you rules. Just wait. Now see here. Okay. So within my family, I want to get some property means blood relation is there. That's part of inheritance. Other family, I want to access something means marriage relation. That is direct inheritance. Within the application, higher level classes, pattern inheritance. 
other application classes if i want to access define pa direct inheritance pattern inheritance is defined in the class name itself class name itself pattern inheritance see if i show you a dash b dash c class name is a dash b dash c if i ask you what are the parent class of c will you be able to say sr no yes if i show you class name a dash b dash c what are the parents of c tell me b and c b and a and b is the parent only b is parent for c yeah. only b is parent yeah. a is also b is also parent a is all the pattern yeah. what you if i ask you who is your parent your direct parent i mean like your immediate parent parent of parent is also grandparent no grandparent parent great grandparent no all are parents only you can access from anywhere okay so all these are parents. Yes, by looking at the class name you can easily say what are pattern parents because it is defined in the name itself but what is direct parent if i ask you you cannot say direct inheritance i will come to your question samit later direct inheritance can be defined in the class definition where you define in the class definition definition at the parent class directed parent class directed i will show you let's have a look at let's have a look at the direct inheritance parent direct parent of our class group that is what work class our work class i do not bother about what are the direct parents of division and unit division and organization my focus is only at this moment of time on work class only so you do also don't care about organization or division only focus on this do you know how to go to work class definition right click and then definition go here scroll down. scroll down after you go to definition scroll down you see there you did not select it it was already there parent class we can see that the wizard the wizard has chosen the direct parent class of our work class is vovotb class which is work dash cover dash what is the word it has chosen i can't do anything for now i am just making an observation of what it has chosen so work dash cover dash is ovotb class yes or no that means now my application can access OOTB application work dash cover dash properties. Pega platform predefined functionalities that are available in work dash cover dash. Will I be able to access into my application class? Yes or no? Yes. I can access yes, by direct inheritance. That's the purpose of direct inheritance. Mainly, what is the purpose of pattern inheritance that you should have a clear understanding about? Another one is what is the purpose of direct inheritance? The purpose of pattern inheritance is to access the rules from higher classes to lower class of same application, within application. The purpose of direct inheritance is to access the functional components of classes of built-on application into current application. Okay, understand clear? Other family to this family by marriage relation. That's what direct inheritance. Makes sense? Clear every one of you? Are you clear about the points which I have told you? Up to that, are you clear? Yes or no? Up uh, to that, are you yes. clear? Yes. Not really. Yes. yes. See, it is very simple. As long as you think about technology, you can never learn it. No doubt about it. Bring the technology into your real life and see in your real life with examples, you can understand. What is that you did not understand? Not really, person. What is that you did not understand? Tell me. I'm confused. I mean, I understand the concept what you said, like uh, between pattern and direct. But where uh, you got confused? What's the confusion? So, so in the pattern, uh, we can access. Uh, we can access. I mean, we, we can access from the uh, low, higher level to the lower level, right? right. Um, so in the direct, uh, how we do that? I mean, in the direct, you are saying that we can access um, O to B rules from the Pega to the uh, Ebo applications. Correct. Mm. How we do that? Right? That's what I told you just now. In direct, you access from Pega platform to your application. How your application class is taking Pega platform class as direct parent. Here you are defining that. Understand? Clear? Okay. 
yeah you are defining somewhere in the class this is what you do here in the class definition that is in the class name pattern is straightforward in the class name direct is mentioned inside direct is mentioned inside understand yeah. everyone yeah. clear as simple as that your name is so and so okay you have surname no? same surname will be there in your family that surname is connecting all of you right pattern you can say when you when i ask what is your name person one person two same surname they both belong to same family father son father son that's what i can understand right direct inheritance so who is your wife initially surname will not change but in human beings it will change but surname is different here also different because both belongs to different family how can i know when i see your marriage certificate it is written somewhere in your marriage certificate so and so persons are husband and wife so you are explicitly mentioning you are explicitly mentioning this person is related to this person that's what direct inheritance you are explicitly mentioning this is the parent class of current class okay this whatever you are seeing no work dash cover dash this is from pega platform this is from where so one one class from pega platform you mentioned as a parent to your application class so that your application class able to access the components from pega platform application it is able to access make sense clear are you clear now yep okay now amit or someone is that same person amit uh, he messaged yeah. you say no. yes yes so uh please uh, correct me please harsha if i'm wrong actually so uh let's say if we have created an application okay like gaiko is an application that we have created for example so all of the classes which are defined inside that particular application they they can be having the reusability of the functionality by using the pattern inheritance wherein we are having a framework application on the top of framework application we have created the implementation application so since these are the two different applications which are sitting on the top of each other so if i want to get the access of the framework application classes to the implementation application that is how the direct inheritance is working correct okay correct. so uh, so here uh, i do see in the left side like uh, when you exploring that work class i mean uh, the classes are like i do see int class data class and the work class these three classes are the siblings in that sense for that class right as of now your understanding is correct siblings but forget about int and data because i did okay. not Talk about it. Only focus no, on no, whatever. I, yeah, I, I whatever you so Correct. Yeah, right. fine. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay. So that's what. That's what about pattern. Why Pega is having coming up with two different types of inheritance. What is the reason? Pega PRPC in its design architecture is coming with with two different types of inheritances. Interview question. You need to tell like because in Pega. we have a concept of built on application when we create applications we create on top of pega platform in order to access the same application higher class features to lower classes pattern inheritance will serve that purpose in order to access built on application classes into our applications direct inheritance will serve that purpose this is why pega has two different inheritances a class can have pattern parent you look at here right click on this definition the work class has pattern parents yes or no geiko auto geiko yes or no at the same time work class also has direct parent mentioned yes or no now a class having two different types of inheritances at a time is called dual inheritance what is it called as dual inheritance a class having two different types of inheritances two different types of inheritance is called so here here work class is called a dual inheritance one minute work class has dual dual inheritance go to organization class go to organization class does it have any parent in the pattern before organization anything else is there no no so it has only direct inheritance don't bother about what is there so the organization class doesn't have any dual inheritance only remaining classes will have dual a class having two different types of inheritances parents is called as dual inheritance make sense clear yep see it will get so i mean like these points 
you try to understand only by the examples which I have given you, you can come up with, if you can come up with even much better examples, you can go ahead with that. Always look at the technology in your real life and compare with real life, then you can much better understand. You need to know the purpose of everything that you are doing. And another point is that, suppose if you go through this session, whatever is being done today, it will be pretty much clear when I explain you. Okay. But after you go out of the class after one hour, if you start thinking, uh, I mean like memorizing the things, you will get a confusion somewhere. Then you need to review back, try to understand, take a notebook, draw the diagrams and then try to analyze things to understand. But you cannot remember in a day or two, you are repeatedly started using these things practical. It will make much better sense and you can easily remember and understand going forward. Okay, I have given you an idea as of now. Do not by heart, do not try to remember hard. Okay, as you start working on these things, you'll come to know, but understand the structure, what is there. Do, do not go to organization class and look at the direct parent, division class and direct parent. Don't come back to me and ask me about direct inheritance of these two. I did not tell you direct inheritance of these two intentionally. So only focus on what is being told. If you come up, look at the things in all different angles, the fundamentals will be gone. Okay. You will get confused a lot. You will confuse yourself. That's why don't look at everything. Okay. That's why at the beginning itself, I am telling you, focus on what we are discussing. Okay. Don't focus on something else while teaching this. I will teach you everything one by one in a proper order at the appropriate time interval. Okay. At the appropriate time and November 21 tomorrow. 2024 and what are the interview questions on these um, I'll I'll go to previous batch come control home control F inheritance see inheritance questions what are different uh, uh, what are what are different okay what are different types of inheritance in Pega purpose of each of the inheritance you should know that what is dual inheritance all these questions that I am going to give you are being already covered in the class where would you define direct parent of a class where would you define in the class definition at the option parent class directed what must be direct parent of class group i did not cover those things direct inheritance is not yet completed for your information direct inheritance i have told you only the first part second part of direct inheritance i'll cover tomorrow so this is interview question document right up november 20 november tomorrow by first half an hour i will finish direct inheritance part so because we need to modify something in our application with respect to direct inheritance that will be covered tomorrow then the question number uh, 8 onwards will be covered okay you read only up to 7 8 9 10 11 12 will be covered tomorrow okay so in the interview question document which i am going to share you i got everything but i am confused with that cover that with where that cover is cover is coming from pega platform that's what i am telling from the beginning in pega platform it is there work dash cover dash is coming from where it is from pega platform it is a child class of work dash in the pattern inheritance cover dash has a pattern parent of work dash it is coming from pega platform only it is taking automatically that's what i have shown you we'll change it later so tomorrow class is also very, very important. Tomorrow class is also connection between. So far I told you implementation class with Pega platform. But in between framework is there, no? We need to discuss about that framework tomorrow. 